Hey guys, what's going on? I am going to be doing a different kind of video this evening. We're going to be mounting a GoPro mount to the front of my helmet. Hi, Daddy. Connor says hi, Daddy. Hi, everybody. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to be taking and putting this GoPro mount on the front of the helmet here. We're gonna be using Sugru and uh, just a simple GoPro mount. Uh, as you can see, there's no adhesive on the back of this. Um, it's been stripped off there so that we can use the Sugru, which is going to be the glue, uh, to mount to the front of the helmet. The reason I'm doing this with the Sugru is because I tried to do it with just the sticky pad that GoPro sends you when you get a camera and I was able to get it to stick to the top of the helmet, as you can see here. Um, it sticks for the most part, but down on the front of my helmet, um, I don't know if you guys can tell there, but um, the curve of the helmet is enough that when I put this on here, there's a really big gap. And um, the, the sticky pad that they send with it to begin with is not big enough to actually stick to this and I don't really trust my $400 camera with uh, that much contact. So we're going to go ahead and do this a little better way. The first step that we're going to do here is to see how this mount fits on the bottom of the helmet and so that it doesn't block the vent. Uh, I'm going to place it on here and get an idea of exactly where it meets with the bottom of the helmet. I'm gonna take a measurement um, so that I know where to cut and then I'm gonna use a grinder and some sandpaper and cut the end of this off and smooth it down to where it's the correct length so that when we mount it, it doesn't overhang. I'm gonna go work on that now. When I get back, I will have a finished and cut piece. Well guys, I'm back now and here's the finished and cut product. Uh, it's not perfect as you can see, it's not perfectly straight, but I did take uh, the portion off that was overhanging uh, now when it mounts on the helmet, it's going to be flush. As you can see here, you can still slide the GoPro camera in and it clips, it locks, it's secure in place and it's still stable uh, so the video won't end up bad. It does overhang a little bit, but um, the mount, at least when the camera is not on the helmet, won't be hanging underneath the chin piece. So the next step is that we're going to take a clean paper towel and I'm gonna go ahead and clean uh, first the mount. Uh, we wanna just make sure that there's no oils or greases on it from your hands or things like that. Get it good and clean. And then we're gonna also take the helmet and the napkin and do the same thing down by where the chin piece is gonna be. Just make sure to clean it really good. All right, now that that's all done, we can get going with the glue. I do want to mention that none of this content is sponsored. Uh, I'm just doing this video to kind of provide information to you guys and show you how to do this. So for this part, I'm going to use two packages of the Sugru. I could probably get away with just using one because it's a pretty small space, but what I don't want to risk is not having enough once I get it all molded and put on there because you only have half an hour to work with this. For this part, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's lines to cut on. I'm gonna cut the package open, mold the Subaru together, and uh, show you guys how to put it on the GoPro clip. All right, we got these opened up. Go ahead and just roll them off of the foil that they're on. You can kind of just use it to pick up other pieces that have stuck to the foil and roll that off. Kind of mold it all together. So I've now molded it into a kind of ball there, but it's all one piece. We're gonna take the mount and get it stuck to the mount. You wanna kind of mold it to the shape of the mount that you're using. 
um, just to kind of get the rough shape down for when you stick it. All right guys, now that we have the rough shape, we're going to go ahead and mount it to the helmet. All right guys, as you can see, we've got it on there now. Uh, it's mounted straight and uh, level. Uh, you can kind of see it from the side there too. Now we're gonna go ahead and trim it up and uh, make sure that it's all smoothed out for when it dries. All right guys, that part is mainly just cosmetic, uh, but as you can see there, it's very smoothed out. Uh, I guess it kind of looks like it's all part of it, um, and that's what I was going for. So now we're gonna go ahead, we gotta let it dry for 24 hours before it can technically hold the weight of the helmet. So we're gonna let that happen, and I'll show you guys the end result. Hey guys, all right hopefully that was the quickest 24 hours of your life and uh, we're going to go over the completed product here before we go over that just remember uh, if you haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button below uh, check out my other videos uh, we got quite a bit of content that goes up on the channel every week uh, moto vlogging around driving through the town causing problems catching problems all that good stuff so check it out if you guys haven't already all right guys, here's our completed product. I don't know how well this is gonna show up on the camera, but hopefully you can tell my edges are smoothed out. Um, I can get it to focus there. You've got a nice complete product. Here on the bottom of the helmet, you can see it doesn't stick out anymore than the bottom of the helmet did to begin with. Um, that way, when I put it flat on the table, it's not catching on anything. It sits nice and flat. And uh, the rubber honestly looks like it was supposed to be there with how we molded it. It's all very clean, uh, nice lines. I guess we better check and make sure now that it clips in. Oh, it helps if you put it in the right way. So it clips in there. As you can see, um, the clip overhangs, but it definitely is secured in spot now. And I guess we're gonna go ahead and test out the strength. Go ahead and just pick up the helmet with the uh, mount there. And you can see, uh, even with swinging back and forth, definitely holds very secure. So uh, definitely a good product and uh, you'll see me out riding with it. I'll let you guys know if I have any issues, but uh, I'm pretty excited to get out there on the road. I like how that looks and how it turned out uh, for being able to mount the GoPro. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, make sure to click that subscribe button if you liked this video, and uh, check out the vlogs. Click the like button, give me some feedback, and uh, ride safe. Thanks.